Alright, today we are going to be talking about why diets, crash diets, make you fat and why you gain weight post-competition. The reasons are the same for both. But before we get into it, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. No, just kidding. Um, there was a, a person, her name is Hey Haley 7 and she left a comment on the last video I did about how competitions are judged. And she says, love your channel, you are so easy to listen to and you actually have something to say. Thanks so much, your book and videos really helped me get ready for my show. I used your Amazon links to order everything you, re you recommended and you make it so easy. Keep it up, you're fun and look forward to watching you. Um, because in this book that you can get on Amazon I put links to jewelry and tanning stuff and pretty much everything that you need is all right here in this book, Bikini Competitor's Little Black Book of Awesome. But more importantly, my point is that um, last night when I read it, um, I just want to send a message. Uh, thank you so much for writing that. That comment really meant the world to me. And it, it just, it's amazing how YouTube can connect people and how kind words like are powerful. Words are so powerful, and um, especially like if you're ever sad and you want to be happy, like spread happiness to somebody else. And if you want to be loved, spread love to somebody else. And it's amazing how it makes you feel better when you're kind to others. So thank you so much for those kind words. Um, they they inspired me. Like last night, I was like, oh, like it. It just really touched my heart, so thank you so much. I really appreciate that comment. It touched me. It touched me. All right. So let's stop touching each other <laughs> and get to the point. Um, so let, let's say you are, first of all, this video is about metabolic rates and how when we diet, when we, especially when we crash diet, we end up wrecking our metabolism. So what is our metabolism? It's the ability for us to metabolize our, the calories that we take in or macros that we take in. Now why is this important? We actually want our bodies to be as inefficient as possible. So let me give you a typical story. A bikini competitor is getting ready for the show, let's say they have nine weeks. They have a slow decrease of caloric intake leading up to the show. Now at the same time, their metabolic rate mirrors that. So the lower your calories go, the lower your metabolic rate. And then all of a sudden, bam, here's showtime. And right now, what your body has been doing this whole time has been getting more and more efficient at using the fuel that you give it to survive. Up here, it was less efficient when you had more calories and more macros. But down here, it's more efficient. So you actually want your body to be less efficient. That means you can eat more while still maintaining your weight. Now, what usually happens? The show is done, right? What happens post-show with the majority of people? They, they binge, and then the weeks after, they're kind of sad and then boom calories go up now what happens to your metabolic rate I mean it's still down here right it needs time to catch up so in order to avoid having this big gap what you need to do is slowly increase your calories that way you can pull up your metabolic rate with it with this big spike what ends up happening is you end up your body ends up generating more fat cells so you have the same number of volume of fat cell, you have the same volume, right? You have this piece of fat, it has more fat cells in it, and each fat cell is smaller than it was before, but you have more of them. So it's harder to lose fat from a cell that's already small. Whereas before you had less fat cells and the fat cells were bigger, so it was easier for you to lose weight because you could easily decrease that fat cell. So, for those of you who are visual, I drew a little picture for you. This is how it typically happens. So you have your food intake in black, that's up on top, and then you have your metabolic rate in blue. So everything is equal, 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 it's going down, and then boom, food shoots up, right? 
and your metabolic rate hasn't had time to catch up with it yet before what happens. Let's say this is a crash diet. You lost a bunch of weight, you get off the crash diet, or equally, you get up on the stage and now it's post-show. You have upped your calories and your metabolic rate hasn't caught up yet, so you've gained a bunch of weight. What do most females do when they gain a bunch of weight and it's, let's say, four weeks later? They'll crash diet again. So then what happens? Boom, calories go down, metabolic rate goes down, and then you can only sustain that for so long before you just feel like binge eating, and boom, you shoot back up, and guess what happened to your metabolic rate? It's actually lower than it was when you first started. So that's why it's really important post-show, or if you're losing weight and you want to keep it off, you need to increase your calories and increase your macros slowly, which can be hard to do. This is, this is the most difficult thing to do. This is, leading up to the show is easier than post-show. Post-show is really where it's at. So this is a picture of what a, a healthy trend would be like. So again, black is your food intake, so you're dieting for the show. Here's the show, post-show, you slowly increase your food intake, and you can see your metabolic rate has slowly increased with it. So with the slow increase of your intake and the slow increase that matches the slow increase of your metabolic rate, you don't have fat gain and you're able to eat more. So let's say this is the off-season, right? This is the off-season and you've continued to slowly add food, add macros to your diet. Guess what? Your metabolic rate is way up here. So let's say you got it up to like huge, to more than it was before. It's going to be so easy for you to lose that weight because for to diet down again for another show because one, your metabolic rate is really high, so are your macros, so are your uh, calories, so you have a lot to cut from. And two, you haven't generated extra fat cells. So it, it's, it's very easy for you to lose weight if you position yourself like this. So this is an example of if you're doing it logically, post-show, you definitely want a game plan to slowly increase your food and your macros in order to get your metabolic rate up and to not cause this huge gap between your metabolic rate and your calories. This is the incorrect way to do it. Now the person, the bikini competitor that is doing this, right, is eating emotionally. They're like, damn, I got fat, this sucks, let's cut again. And then they're wrecking their metabolism. Their metabolism is adapting to their food intake to be more efficient, which we don't want. We want to be less efficient, that way we can have more calories and not get fat. <laughs> so, key takeaways. Post-competition, do not let your emotions rule. Add food slowly, that way you can increase your metabolic rate with your caloric and macro intake. If you spike them up too fast, your metabolic rate won't have time to catch up and you'll end up catching, you'll end up catching, yeah, like it's cold. <laughs> you'll end up gaining fat quickly. Now what happens if that's already said and done? right? Like let's say you're at the stage where it's post-competition, you've already gained a bunch of weight. The worst thing you can do is try to do a severe cut. The best thing that you can do is to consistently maintain your caloric intake and make sure you're not overdoing it on cardio. Make sure that you're lifting heavy um, with intensity at the gym. Um, cut back on some of your cardio and start doing HIIT high intensity training. That way you can start revving up your metabolism again. Because definitely you want to put yourself, you want to think about next show, right? Like you want to be sitting in the position where you can eat 3,000 calories a day and your metabolic rate is way up there. That's going to be so much easier for you to lean out for a show. And in addition to that, it's going to be a lot easier for you to gain muscle when your body's being fed all these great nutrients. As opposed to being like, dang girl, we're starving up in here. <laughs> Alright, uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, uh, leave comments, let me know what you think, and again, the book is Bikini Competitor's Little Black Book of Awesome on Amazon, so definitely check it out. See ya!